Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn about weighing machine and addition of different units of weight. Let's start. Students, tell me which machine is this? Yes, this is analog weighing machine. And where have you seen this machine? Yes, in school. In schools, teachers use this machine to measure the weight of students. Now look at the machine. I have not kept anything on it. So the red needle is still at zero. After zero, numbers starting from 5, 10, 15, up to 125 are written in black. These numbers represent weight in kilograms. Students, notice carefully. There are 10 small lines between 0 to 5 or 5 to 10 or 10 to 15. Students, two small lines represent 1 kilogram. That is why these numbers are written at the gap of 5. This analog weighing machine has a weight capacity of up to 130 kilogram. Students, nowadays this machine is used to measure the weight of different objects. You must have seen this machine. Students, now tell me, where have you seen this machine? Very good, at grocery shop or at green grocer's shop. So students, whenever you go to shop with your parents to buy different things, then shopkeeper uses this machine to measure the weight of different objects. So students, we have not kept anything on this machine. That is why this machine is displaying zero. Now, look at the screen. Numbers before decimal represents kilograms and numbers after decimal represent weight in grams. Now students, we keep some objects on this machine and find out their weight. First, we keep dal and let's check its weight. What is the weight of dal? Yes, weight of dal is 550 grams. Now, after dal, let us check the weight of rice. Yes, students. Now tell me, what is the weight of rice? Yes, the weight of rice is 1 kilogram and 600 grams. Now, we will keep rice and dal together and their total weight is 2 kilogram and 150 grams. Students, look at the display. It is showing 2 kilogram and 150 grams. Let's keep some more things on this weight machine and check their weight. We have potatoes and onion. First of all, I'll place potatoes on it and check their weight. How much do these potatoes weigh? Yes, students, tell me the weight. Yes, the weight of potatoes is 3 kilogram and 500 grams. After measuring potatoes, we will measure onions and find out their weight. How much do these onions weigh? Yes, the weight of onions is 2 kilogram and 250 grams. Now, I am going to measure the weight of potatoes and onions together. Yes, their total weight is 5 kilogram and 750 grams. Dear students, it's time to do some written practice. Now we will learn how to add units of weight. Here we have to add 9 kilogram, 654 gram and 1 kilogram, 138 grams. So students, we write kilogram at one side and gram at another. We have 9 kilogram and 654 gram. So we write 9 kilogram below kilogram and 654 below gram. So in the same way, we write 1 kilogram and 138 gram. When we add these numbers, the total weight will be 
10 kilogram and 792 grams. So, the answer is 10 kilogram and 792 grams. Today's past question. Karan's mother bought 5 kilogram and 250 gram cauliflower and 3 kilogram and 500 gram peas. How much vegetables did she buy? Here you have four options. Option A is 7 kg, 750 gram. Option B, 8 kg, 700 gram. Option C, 8 kg, 800 gram. And option D, 8 kg, 750 gram. When we will add 5 kg, 250 gram and 3 kg, 500 gram, we will get 8 kg, 750 gram. So, Option D is the correct option. Today's homework. Students, you have to solve question number 1 of exercise 5.7. Thank you.